This is the Sumo enclosure for the Prus XL. Full disclaimer, it's an enclosure that my company has designed and developed. In this video, I'll take you step by step through the assembly process. So if you think you might be interested in the Sumo, check out the link down below. Everything you need to finish the build is included in the kit except for three to four rolls of filament. Thank you for taking time to watch and hope you enjoy the build. To make the assembly experience as straightforward as possible, we have an interactive assembly guide on our website for you to follow that will reference some during this video. If you're interested in making your own assembly guide like this, it's made using a software called Cadasio. You can try it out for yourself for free, so check them out if you're interested. Before we get started, I want to warn you that there are multiple versions of the Prus XL. Please use the guide on our website to determine which version you have. The main differences are the antenna location and the type of backplate. The earlier XLs come with a solid backplate instead of the hexagon grid plate that is currently shipping with the newer XLs. The prints are slightly different between the two, so just double check that you're printing the right set. We've also recently released an alternate front piece that gives you access to the belt tightening bolt on the XL. I personally prefer the clean look of the original since it's pretty easy to take the front off if needed, but a few people requested this feature, so now you can pick whichever one you prefer. As far as printing the parts, please use the suggested orientations. We also highly recommend using glue to reduce warping. If you continue to have issues with warping, adding a rim should help. For filament type, we suggest PLA for most cases or PTG if you're planning to print with higher temp materials. If you want to replace these aluminum inserts to match your Sumo, the files are available on the Prus XL printables page linked down below. To prepare the XL for the Sumo, start off by removing the two lower front bolts and store them for later. Next, remove the filament holder on the side. You can leave the shrapnel nut in place. If you have the injection molded version of the filament holder, please download and print the 3D printed version so it is compatible with this build using the link on our website. We have some extra long bolts in the kit in case you want to add additional filament holders to your enclosure. Next, let's remove the antenna. It'll either be on the back of your XL or on the side. If it's on the back, you'll need to print one of the antenna extensions so the antenna won't hit the enclosure. Again, Prus is shipping two different size antennas, so there are two options for the extension. We've included a sizing template so that you can select the right one to print. You you may need to remove the back panel to get enough slack in the wire to attach the mount. Once you've installed the adapter, don't add the antenna back yet, save that for the very end. Before doing additional assembly, make sure you turn off and unplug the printer. To make the positioning of the shrapnel nuts easier, we prepared some printable templates. The templates are reversible so you'll use the same ones on both sides. Start by adding a shrapnel nut directly above the vertical 3030 extrusion and then attach the template using a bolt and two pegs. Just make sure the vert letters are oriented vertically on the template, then insert the shrapnel nuts and slide them into position using an allen key or some spare bolts. Repeat this process for the bottom part and then use the other template for the back shrapnel nuts. You'll notice a slight difference in this rear template compared to the current one because it only has two shrapnel nuts. This is because as you can see here, it was difficult to install the third shrapnel nut due to the hole that's drilled into the aluminum profile, so we just eliminated it to prevent installation issues. Be sure to reference the assembly guide since that version is most accurate. There's also a nut that goes under the 3030 extrusion that uses another template that snaps onto the aluminum profile. Make sure you do this on both sides as well. Now let's move on to assembling the front of the enclosure. Start off by adding the nameplate to the front cross piece if you haven't done so already. You can customize this to say whatever you like in Fusion or using a slicer. Then add the hex bars into the front pieces. This this can be a little tricky. We made them pretty tight because we didn't want the enclosure to rattle. We recommend tapping the metal bar against a hard surface to make sure that the bars are fully seated. There should be slightly more resistance when you get to the last centimeter or so of depth since the holes are slightly tapered at the end. Combine everything together to assemble the entire front piece of the Sumo. Once all the pieces are together, add the interlocking printed parts on the back. I actually forgot to do this on this build so learn from my mistakes and put them in prior to putting the parts on the printer. Make sure you add the hidden nuts on both sides as well. There should be a total of 16 nuts with 8 on each side. Again, unlike this video, try to do this before putting it on the printer for easier access. Now add the entire front of the Sumo to the Prus XL and attach it to the printer with the big lower bolts as well as the two bolts on the bottom of the extrusions. Now it's time to remove the LCD from the Prusa. This part is a little annoying because the bolts are hard to get to. When the LCD is free, you can rest it on the table surface. No need to disconnect it. Add the four magnets to the LCD plate prior to inserting them into position. You can use extra magnets to pull the magnets into position and then use an Allen key or magnet pusher print to push the magnets into the final position. They should fit almost flush with the face. Then use the LCD template to make sure the shrapnel nuts are in the right spot before sliding the LCD plate into position. One tip is to let the XL hang off the table by a few inches so it's easier to slide the plate into place from below. Once the plate is in position, reattach the LCD using the original bolts. Now it's time to assemble the doors. Start with putting the hinges together. 
Make sure you break off the built-in supports on the hinges with some pliers. Add the dowel rod so that the outlet is facing upwards so that the rod doesn't fall out. After the hinges are assembled, add them to the door panels. Before adding the door to the enclosure, make sure you add the door handles. Add the four magnets to the back of the handles, making sure that they attract the magnets on the LCD plate. If they're backwards, you can just push them out from the front and flip them around. After that, attach the handles to the door and then attach the door panels to the front of the enclosure. Now add the remaining panels to the sumo. Add the bolt on the corner corner of the top and bottom side panels since this bolt does not hold plexiglass. After hanging those pieces, add the plexiglass panels. Just tighten them until they're snug. No need to overdo it and risk cracking the plexiglass. You'll need to leave one of the holes empty for the filament holder. Make sure you use our custom spacer for the filament holder because this prevents the filament roll from scratching the plexiglass as it rotates. Now you'll just repeat the same process on the other side. After adding the plexiglass to the lower section, add the back pieces to the enclosure and tighten them down with five nuts and bolts. If the back panel hits the filament sensor, loosen it slightly and move it down so everything will fit flush. Once that's complete, the lower portion of the sumo should be finished. For the top chamber, start by adding the hydrometer that's included in the kit to the front top support piece and then add it to the enclosure panel. Then assemble the rest of the pieces. It's pretty straightforward. I recommend checking out our accessories page on our website to see if there are any enclosures that you might want to print for the Sumo. There's a lot of options for add-ons like fans, fire alarms, and cameras for monitoring your XL. When putting the top chamber into position, remember that the head of the bolts on the front bottom corners of the chamber have to align with the slots for everything to fit into place. So be sure that those are aligned as you put it into position. If you haven't done so yet, add the antenna and take off all the plastic film because your Sumo enclosure should be done. Thank you for your interest in this project. To all our current and future customers, thank you for choosing the Sumo Enclosure. We put a lot of time and effort into the design, but seeing all the different Sumo Enclosures people have built makes it all worth it.